Today, I'll show you how to create a job application form on your WordPress website. This is perfect for small businesses who have a careers page and you want to attract talented people to join your team. To do this quickly and easily, we're going to install a plugin called WP Forms. WP Forms is the simplest, easiest to use drag and drop form builder on the market. It sets up so many parts of your business that you can use it not just for a job application form, but for your contact form. You can also accept payments with WP Forms and so much more. To get started, you want to head over to wpforms.com forward slash WP beginner. And with that, you'll get the best discount on WP Forms. Once you select the plan that works best for you, you want to log in to WP Forms. From here, you want to go to downloads and you want to download your form. While we're here, let's go ahead and also copy our license key. Now let's head back over to our WordPress dashboard. And from here, we want to go to plugins add new. And instead of searching for a plugin here, let's go ahead and click upload plugin. And you can either choose file and find it on your computer. Or if you have it down in the bottom, like I do, you can left click, drag it up, click install. Now, once it's installed, you'll want to make sure that you activate the plugin as well. Once it's activated, let's head over to WP forms, go to settings, and we'll paste in our license key and click verify key. Great. Now you should get a congratulations message so we can start to create our form. Now WP forms comes with several ready-made templates to use. So let's head over to add-ons because it's a form add-on pack that we're looking for. So scrolling down, we're looking for the form template pack. This is the one we want and let's go ahead and install it. And this will install hundreds of templates to help you get started quickly. Now that that's there, we can go over to WP forms and click add new. And you see with the templates form pack, these are all of the hundreds of templates that you can choose from. So I already know which one I want. So I'm going to come up here and create the job application name. And down here, I want to search for job. And once you type in job, then we have a few of them to choose from. We want to do a job application upload form. So let's go ahead and use this template. And it's already done a lot of the heavy lifting. You see all of the main fields that you would probably want with a job application. You can go through this and add or remove any of the fields that you don't want. For instance, this is a remote position, so we don't need to know their full address. Scrolling down, we want to have them upload their resume as well as their cover letter and any additional information. So. Over on the left, you have all of these fields. If you want more fields to add to this, if you need more information from them, you can do that here. For this one, I'm just going to click save because I'm pretty happy with it already. Okay, now we need to put it on our website. So we can come up here and click embed and we can either select an existing page or if you don't have one, if you need to create a page, let's go ahead and click create new page. So let's go ahead and name it and let's go. And what this will do is create the page and then we can go in and edit it. Great. And so now you see that it created the page, it automatically embedded it. If you ever need to come and just add this to a different page, you can simply go to the page that you want to click add block, search for WP forms, find that one. And then from the drop down, find the form that you were working on. But with that embed part, it does all of that work for you. So I'm going to remove that one. And this is what we have. So now we're pretty happy with this. So now we can click publish. And then we can see it in action. Great. That looks really good. So in scrolling down, I want to actually change this. And I just want to say something else, like maybe give me three examples of your previous experience or something like that. So we can change that easily. So we'll head back over to our dashboard, we'll go back to our plugins area. Let's go back to WP forms, go to all forms. And from here we can edit the job application form. So down here, I want to make an edit so I can just click on this, change the label, do something like that. You can also make it required if you want to. And by checking on that toggle from here, we can also move items around. So if a phone number is more important, we can make that go up to the top. We can click on these and say full name. 
and then just get it as close to what you want. We can even change the what the submit button says if you want and enabling anti-spam protection is automatically turned on by the default for that. So we can save that. Now we need to do a couple of other things. We need to set up the notification. This will be the email that you get once somebody submits it. So when you click on notifications on the left, this is what you see. So by default, the send to email address will be the admin email of the WordPress website. If you don't want that, then you can show smart tags. And if there are other emails in here, you can choose that or you can hard code it in, meaning you can add your email right here. You can change the subject line. I like to do a little bit different for the subject line so that when I'm getting these, they're not all the same and it doesn't all look the same. So I'll usually add a subject line. I'll use the smart tag and the full name should be something different each time. So I'll do that so I can see how it's different. You can fill everything else out. And then down here at the email message, you'll get all of the fields from the form. So that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead and save this. And then let's move on to confirmation. So confirmation is what they'll see when they submit or click the submit button. Uh, right now it is thanks for applying. We'll be in touch with you shortly. You can change this. First off, you can change this message. You can also from the drop down, you can show a particular page, maybe a thank you page. You can even redirect them to a total new URL. But for this, we're just going to keep this message and save that. And so going back to the page, once I refresh it, I can see the changes that I've made and everything looks good. Now let me show you what it looks like once somebody has submitted something. And you see, once I submit it, that's the message that I receive. And then going on the back end, if we go to our WP forms area, we see that we have three entries. So we can click on this to see what it looks like. You can see how many submissions you've had right from here. And from here you can view them, edit or delete them. The other cool thing is once you're in here, you can also go through and you can even add notes. And then as your business grows, if you're looking to find a best VoIP phone service for your business, then make sure you watch this video next. As Syed and I talk about the best VoIP phone services for small businesses. And I'll see you over there.